Hello, in this video I'd like to show you a trick with the password properties. The password properties is, um, is a nice feature that gives you access to the internals of the Prime components. So, I was browsing through the um, Prime Night Discord server of our community and there was a question that I, I, I thought that uh, it could be done with the password. So, the question was, uh, the user wanted to reset the filter when uh, the end user clicks this search icon, the filter icon. So the prime component doesn't provide something like that. And in that case, uh, you can easily extend the prime components. So the thing is, um, you don't need to wait for the library maintainer to add, like at this point you need to request, can I add a you know, click event uh, for the filter icon? and so that you can customize the behavior. So without, in, in our case, you don't need to wait for us to take action because you already have access to these DOM elements. Because if you check out the pass-through, the number 16 here in this um, section is the filter icon and it gives you the state. And if you check out the multi-select um, multi, um, state, In the API documentation, we have access to the filter value. Now, because we try to pass the properties, the data, everything that you can use within the component. So let's try to implement this one uh, so that when I click this icon, the user, now nothing happens, right? Okay, now let's open the gate with the PT. And I'm going to bind, I'm going to use the filter icon and here each I can have access to state. Now here I can add, for example, you can add a class like my class. You're using Tailwind something else that you can... Actually, that was the idea of, of our Tailwind CSS process, that you can inject Tailwind without knowing the component. Uh, the component doesn't know that it's, it's styled with Tailwind. That's the nice part. So let's say data um, test ID, right, like 10 or something, prime test. And let's see what we have on click as well. State filter value should be this one, right? And I think it's like this. Okay, let's try to see what we have in the DOM. I'm going to open the dev tools. Let's check out the click, filter icon. Okay, now you see that data test ID is prime test. That gives you access that, yeah, because in the past we had users asking for specific date test automation ID depending on their testing framework. Now you don't have to wait for the library maintainer, in this case us. And what we have, the my class, this here as well. So this pass-through is actually the pathway to many abilities, some considered to be unnatural, just like I'm just calling Star Wars here. Here we have the click event. Let's see what, it, what will happen. Let me just close this new, New York, and, and I click it, the list is now reset. So um, in this case, just a trick, simple trick, but um, it's just an idea in the broader scope. If you think that, if you th think that of, you need something like a feature that's that you cannot find in the official API. So, for example, in the official API, we have properties, um, events, um, the methods, the slots, everything like that. But in case that you cannot find what you need, please just first uh, think about pass-through, because with the pass-through you can add arbitrary attributes, arbitrary properties, add events and things like that. And the prime component passes you the component prop state and any attributes. So you can even add custom attributes like uh, prime attribute, something like this. And you can have access to that in the attributes section or things like that. You know, so that you can even add, um, you can even add customizations based on custom attributes. This is especially useful uh, when you're wrapping, building your own UI library with 
the prime because I've used this technique when I was building, which in the next video I will try to show you how to build your custom toggle component. In this case, I have added something like accent here, which was not defined in the official API of the input switch. So I was trying to build a material toggle switch with um, um, prime view input switch here. If you check out the gallery, which is our next upcoming video, here you can see that we have a custom component, material input switch. So here, uh, this is my uh, input switch and there's a type accent thing, which is not available in the input switch. So I'm just adding arbitrary attributes and using them inside my custom uh, input switch. But that's a, this is a sneak preview. That's the tutorial for next one, where we will build a custom um, material-like uh, toggle based on the unstyled prime view input switch and the Tailwind CSS. So, in summary, please always think about the pass-through attributes whenever you need something that's not already available in the public API. Okay, see you on the next video and thank you.